Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime, and uh, we got a nice, big, juicy rumor for you today. Uh, it kind of comes from this person named Sharon on Twitter, however, technically she's not the original source. It does come from Gaming Leaks and uh, Gaming Leaks and uh, the Gaming Leaks Reddit, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, but unfortunately, the person who posted it uh, appears to have had his post deleted by the moderators or whatever the case might be. I have no idea what's going on with it. I, I did some digging into it. Uh, but Sharon only seems to share things that she thinks are reasonably viable. Emily Rogers follows her. Uh, so whatever, we're going to talk about this stuff because it's really, really interesting and really, really huge, including something called the Super Switch, which I don't really know that that's a finalized name, but I do think it's at least worth paying a little bit of attention to and having to talk about it today. Uh, now, to remind you before we get into anything, we are giving away two copies of Mario Strikers Battle League. This is actually the kickoff giveaway for our Prime Gaming Festival. We will be giving away thousands of dollars worth of gaming gear, accessories, consoles, games. It's going to be awesome. We're going to be live reacting to everything happening at Summer's Game Fest, uh, the Tribeca Festival, PC Gaming Show, Xbox Bethesda, maybe a Nintendo Direct if it comes around, Ubisoft, etc. We're going to be all over live reacting, providing live entertainment as well as all of those giveaways. So uh, I really hope that you guys choose to participate in the current giveaway, which will be announced the winners will be announced june 9th 9 a.m during prime gaming fest that being said hey everyone let's get into the news shall we so as you see here we got some tweets by sharon uh yesterday here and she said so the latest nintendo switch rumor and again this is her just getting this information as you'll see down here um it says super nintendo switch next year alongside breath of the wild 2 now this has been a widely speculated thing for some time a sort of super switch a switch pro a next generation switch launching alongside breath of the wild 2 this isn't a new concept but this is you know a I guess the first time I've seen a real rumor built around it uh it's gonna have 4k graphics themes and street pass and street pass is a very interesting one we'll talk about that later uh wind waker and Tobias, she's if you look at it down here, it's actually spelled right, Twilight Princess. She she just had a, a flub on Twitter. You can't edit tweets on Twitter, unfortunately. So Wind Waker and Twilight Princess announcement this summer for release in the fall slash winter, which again, there have been a couple rumors about that already. Game Boy and Game Boy Advance announcement this summer. Again, we have prior rumors that sort of back this up. Breath of the Wild bundle switch with all DLC included for Christmas. Now, that would be cool. I'm ready to have something beyond the Mario Kart 8 uh you know, bundle. Uh, then some hit games like Smash Brothers will get a 4K upscale. And then the Nintendo Selects line returns this year. Uh, and the, the, her, there she is, correct. And then here she is showing the original uh, source of this being in Gaming Leaks and Rumors Redder from Jump Your. Uh, and yeah, yeah, there's not really anything uh, in here that isn't what she said. She actually summarized. Uh, summarize this better uh, and apparently street pass they wanted to make available in 2017 but they had some performance issues or problems uh, street pass is kind of an interesting thing to bring back i i, I kind of like that back on the 3ds uh, so that's obviously really really neat to think about so uh when, when i look at these whole rumors one obviously take them with a truckload of salt again these you know like any other rumor out there regardless of who it comes from whether it's emily rogers or samus hunter or share in here or gaming leaks and rumors reddit or jeff grubb always take everything that we put out there if you see the if you see me even use the word rumor in the video you know that you need to be skeptical. That doesn't mean it's not fun to think about and talk about and see what happens. The last rumor that we actually talked about was the Nindy Direct from Emily Rogers. We talked about it on Prime News yesterday, and lo and behold, that was actually announced today and is happening tomorrow. We're going to be live streaming and reacting to it. So people wonder, why do you cover these rumors and leaks? Not only because they're fun to speculate uh, and, and fun to talk about, because sometimes they actually come true. And when they come true, it's quite magical. So... Yeah, uh, by the way, we do have another Prime News episode coming later today. I know I wanted them out by noon, but because I was up so late last night doing the report on Nintendo's financials, uh, you know, I ended up just kind of sleeping through the morning hours. So uh, we will get a Prime News out to you today. It's going to be uh, this evening. In fact, do you guys prefer an end of day Prime News or do you guys prefer a beginning of day Prime News? I feel like there's a lot of other people that do news summaries like in the morning, but not very many that does like a nice recap at the end of day. So let me know if that is something you're interested in because maybe that's something that I could be aiming for and I could do other videos in the morning 
and then focus on uh on, on prime news you know getting that out by like i don't know six o'clock or something like that uh anyways you guys let me know about that but speaking of these rumors i do think it's a bit strange to call it the super nintendo switch i know some people actually really really like the name super switch uh and i get it, it it's a play on the super nintendo entertainment system i just don't know that nintendo is going to go back to that branding if you look at nintendo's you know branding lately which i understand most of this was under satura iwata you know they've used the Switch Lite, you know, the Lite branding, L-I-T-E, carrying that over from the DS and 3DS. Uh, we haven't seen a new yet, a new Nintendo Switch. I think would probably, unfortunately, as much as I hate the new branding, the likely route Nintendo would go uh, with this. I obviously would like to see them use numbers if it's a next generation. Like, I'm tired of Nintendo being afraid of numbers. You can call it Nintendo Switch 2, and it's literally not confusing at all. It is a self-advertisement that this is the next Switch. I don't know what... Nintendo's adversity to using numbers are, but they use it in some of their games once in a while. So why can't we use it, you know, for a system? I don't know. Nintendo just doesn't do that. So I, I don't expect it to be called Nintendo Switch 2. I just hope whatever name they do choose for next generation makes sense because Switch was such a brilliant name, just like Wii was a brilliant name. Uh, DS, you know, was a brilliant name to represent dual screens. I think Nintendo gets brilliant names sometimes, but they don't always follow it up with the most brilliant names. Wii U, 3DS. Like, I, I would like to see them uh, come up with a better name, but hey, you know what? Super Switch is, is just fine. Now, the rest of this stuff uh, seems pretty safe. Street Pass is the one that's, man, um, when's the last time you even thought about Street Pass? I haven't thought about Street Pass in years. So it's kind of interesting to see that if they would even want to bring something like that back. I do think that Street Pass does create a kind of community around it, but Street Pass can't really exist unless you're going to also bring back some mini games or something built around it, which maybe they're going to. Uh, Wind Waker and Twilight Princess announced this summer coming out, you know, later this year in the fall. I think a lot of people are starting to get that expectation because Nintendo does do something Zelda every year. And with Breath of the Wild pushed to 2023, we currently have no new Zelda this year. Now, there could be DLC, of course, for Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity or something like that. But uh, I, I do think that we're going to see something this year. And Twilight Princess and Wind Waker HD, they existed on Wii U. They haven't come over. We've gotten almost everything from Wii U. Kind of makes some sense to bring one, if not both of those games over. I know a lot of us are hoping for that $60 double pack, but I don't know. Nintendo values their game so high, it's hard to imagine them packing both together for 60 especially after they discovered Sword HD last year for 60 on its own. But, you know, we'll see what Nintendo decides to do. Um, and then I look at the rest, you know, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance announcement. Again, we've had basically the fact that Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games were being worked on for Nintendo Switch Online is all but confirmed at this point. Uh, we had that massive leak, and, and it seemed to really confirm that this stuff was at least being worked on as late as, I think, uh, spring of 2021 uh, was kind of where we left it at, hey, the last time these files were touched were at least around then. So Nintendo at least thought about bringing Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color uh, to Nintendo Switch Online. Whether or not that ever comes to fruition publicly, I don't know. But there is some legitimate information backing that up. So, you know, that's kind of piggybacking on a rumor that already exists, I would say. Uh, but the Breath of the Wild bundle for Christmas, that's one that I think would be huge. I mean, this game is already almost at 30 million sales on Switch alone. They bundle it in for the holidays. I think this might actually be a very smart move with Breath of the Wild 2 coming up, but they're going to start marketing, you know, hey, Link's next great adventure is on the way, but before we get there, why don't you guys check out our Christmas bundle for Link's current adventure, uh, that, you know, the, the prequel to Breath of the Wild 2. I think that that could actually be a brilliant sales pitch, obviously you know, worded a bit better than that in the commercials. But I think that that would be a, a really brilliant move by Nintendo, which, by the way, I don't think they're going to get rid of the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe bundle. I think this is just a bundle that could run alongside it. Get Breath of the Wild, all the DLC, bundle it in with Switch, you know, Switch OLED for $350 uh, and sell it this holiday. Why not? I, I think that that's actually a really, really sweet thing Nintendo could do. Uh, and, yeah, I think would actually boost sales of Zelda and Switch heading into Breath of the Wild 2. So remind everyone, hey, remember this like game that has won the most Game of the Year awards of all time? Yeah, we're bundling it in right before we're about to launch the new one. So why don't you get this and then buy the new one, you know, coming up this spring? I don't know. Just saying, it feels like a really good marketing opportunity. So regardless of the rumor, I really like this idea. So I hope it happens. Uh, other games getting 4K upscales, that's not really a surprise. And whenever I see 4K graphics, uh, I, I, I think 4K upscaling. I never think 4K native 4k uh because 
let's be honest, the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 struggle with native 4K. A lot of the 4K you see, oh, but I'm playing my Spider-Man Miles Morales in 4K. All right, let's hold up a second. They're using an upscaling technique to hit 4K. It's not native. And that's what people kind of don't get because of all the marketing out there. The PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X technically are not powerful enough to run modern AAA games at 4K. You need almost a 3090 or 3080, 3080 Ti, which are extremely expensive graphics cards. Even I think a 6900 XT can do it with some games. Like You need extremely expensive GPUs to get that, and PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series are not that. Uh, so, yeah, you're getting 4K, but you're getting it in the upscaled way, which, by the way, there's nothing wrong with that. And uh, that's how Switch would do it. It'd be more like you're getting 1080p visuals upscaled to 4K. So there is some additional power, but it's upscaled to 4K to make it look crisp on a 4K television. So, I don't know. You guys let me know what you think about this. This is obviously a really, really interesting rumor that we're having a lot of fun with. Uh, and mm -hmm. I want to know if you think that this is likely, unlikely, uh, what you think, obviously, uh, Sharon is somebody who we've actually covered for a little bit. She's had a few things come true, but again, she's not the source of these rumors. Uh, she actually does a lot of uh, reports on a lot of rumors around um, the uh, DC universe. Uh, so like The Flash and Batman and all that. Uh, she seems to be a big fan of that. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.